Hey guys, what's up? How are you? For today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a pretty exciting Ulta haul. So I actually did noisy noisy bag. So I actually did a walk through Ulta style video on my channel a little bit ago. I'll have that video linked down below. So if you watched that, I pretty much showed you guys at the end of that video a little bit of what I picked up briefly. But in this video, I'm gonna go like I'm gonna show you guys actual haul, not like a three second little clip situation. Wait, let's get started. I will have all of these goods linked down below, and most of these items are fairly new. Some of them are drugstore, and some of them are high end. Oh, also before I get started, I wanted to let you guys know that I pretty much got all of this for free. I think I. Just had to pay like a few bucks pretty much how you may ask ulta has an amazing points per program the way it works is every time you purchase anything you gain points and so i'm a pretty frequent shopper at ulta so every time i purchase from there i gain more and more points with every single item that i purchase and a lot of the times i'll save my points which i think is the best way because the more points you save you can redeem it for a higher value so I'll throw up a pic of like the points system of how it works. So depending on how much points you have, you can redeem it for a certain amount of money off. And so for this time around, I actually did not use my points for a very, very long time. I saved it for a while. It's been a while. And so now I decided to go ahead and spend my points and pretty much get all these goods for free. So it's like I paid for it, but like I also didn't in a way. One sec. Like I think it's really, really cool how you're able to do that with Ulta's points system i think it's awesome yeah so now let's go ahead and get started with the haul first up i picked up the daily dew stick by elf cosmetics this right here is the iridescent version they have a few other ones that i showed you guys in the walkthrough video but this right here is the one that spoke to me the most just because i felt like what, what does that mean you know what i'm saying like what will it really do for my skin so let's see it's pretty hefty and large i want to say like huge jungle i don't know if i get to be so big I love opening up new packaged goods. Kind of just makes me happy. Does it smell? It smells like shampoo a bit, I want to say. Or I'm just smelling myself. Mm -hmm. You would think I smell like shampoo, right? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, by the way, I have a self-tan, so you kind of could see two colors. But anyways, this feels really nice. It has a little bit more of like a stiffer formula. You can't really see much from the, from the video, but it does feel like it's blurring out. But I don't know how hydrating this is. It does feel cooling, like once you kind of apply it, but then it feels a little bit more on the stiffer side. So we'll have to see. The way I like to use these stick products, I just kind of like swipe them on my face and then blend them out with my finger. It says here it's supposed to give you a sheer wash of pearlescent color. Yes. Next, I picked up these lashes from Kiss. This is a brand new collection, the Masterpiece Collection by them. And I'm actually wearing these on my eyes now. It's in the style Avant Garde. They were pretty price pricey, like 10 bucks. I love the packaging though. There's like a magnet to it, which is nice. But I don't recall paying 10 bucks for lashes in a while. But whatever, it looked pretty good in the store. And this compared to the other ones that they had there, like this was like the prettiest one. As you can see on my eyes, I'm just, I love this kind of style. So the next thing I picked up was the Billie Eilish perfume. This is just called Eilish. I picked up the one fluid ounce size. And I typically do that with perfumes in case I'm not so in love with them but if i am in love with it like i'll finish off the smaller size and then repurchase it in the fuller size and the bigger size it says here that it has creamy vanilla warm musks sugared petals and amber gourmand so if that's your style of scent then you might really enjoy this for me it's not necessarily one that i am like fully obsessed with a lot of the time yeah, this just doesn't smell that good to me, honestly. Like, I really feel like it doesn't have, like, that richness to it. A lot of the times, if I'm not down with a perfume, like, this is one that I probably would not wear on its own because I just don't feel like it necessarily complements me. So a lot of times when I'm not that down with a perfume, I will just... Sorry, the beeping is insane today. I'll just mix the perfume with different perfumes. And a lot of the times, I'll come up with my own concoction and... I love how my own mixture kind of smells, you know? So there's that with this one. I think the packaging is really nice. It's unique. The smell is very, very different, but it's if it's so not my style at all, at all. It's not like bad, but it's just not one that I'm like, hey, yum, you know? We're not gonna use yum for this one. The next item I picked up was from ColourPop. This is their brand new quartz palette. So I have the... I think it's called the amethyst palette so they released that with this one i wasn't going to pick this up initially but then when i saw this in store i'm like gorgeous i think that this is more of like a wintery palette though but i'm still going to kind of rock it 
going into the spring and summer months so, like if you love cool tones with a twist of something extra i think this has it because it doesn't only have like silvers and grays it also has like some of these type of colors and then this really unique almost like black blue type of shade there's also this black with gold glitter and then this gorgeous champagne color as well which i love when these kind of shades are paired with these kind of shades i feel like it's just the combination of both is like heavenly Okay, we're not we're not editing those out this is so pretty wow wow i would even use that as like a facial highlighter but these are so nice and very smooth a door a door and i want to say there's still a really nice selection of like look at this color this is everything to me there's a really nice selection of matte and metallics in here so i feel like if you typically build up the shade in the crease, you know, the matte shade there and you want to throw something on the lid, you have a lot of options here. But if you just use the metallic shades, lots of options, just mattes, you got that in here too. So really pretty gorgeousness. And I'm thinking this might even be nice to mix with the amethyst palette. Like the combo of both colors would look really cool, but perfection on its own. Hopefully the formula is nice. Next, I picked up a brand new brush set. So I typically don't purchase brush sets like this. You guys know I really just, I don't. I, I don't think I really ever showed a brush set in here in all the haul, or if I did, it was a long time ago. But this collection here really spoke to me because I thought that the brushes were way too cute to not pick up. So this is from their brand new collection. They collaborated with this influencer i don't even know how to say her name i think her name is nyan i want to say but this is a six piece brush set for the eyes you also get like the bag which i'm not that fond of i will say it kind of feels cheapy but i really got it for the brushes now i don't know if i necessarily need more eye brushes but i figured this is a nice selection of brushes that i would use you know plus i adored how the handle of the brush is the same um color as the bristles of the brush i just think it kind of adds a little twist to brushes and it kind of makes me happy so that's pretty much why i picked these up but looking at them right now honestly like they look like brushes that i'll use the only one i probably won't use is maybe this one it's a really tiny crease brush but like we have a shader brush in here we have a um, definer brush um, crease blending brushes and I will say I do like the Morphe brushes I have the Jaclyn Hill face and eye brush set that I purchased on my own a while ago and those are like pretty much the only brushes I use so I mean I would definitely love to get these Sonia G brushes those are super expensive but for now I decided to get these and I'm sure I'll get a lot of use out of them so beautiful next I picked up the L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara this is in blackest black I think that they also had brown black as well as an option but i'm so excited about this one because i know this came out a while ago and i think one second well i think it's supposed to be a dupe for the better than sax mascara that i personally really really love but yeah i never tried this could you guys believe that like my favorite drugstore mascara is the essence lash princess mascara and i'm really really content with that but when i saw this at ulta i was like you know what i can really really get down with this one i actually think i might even like this a bit more than the better than sex only because the wand seems the same but just in a smaller version a drop smaller so because of that i feel like it would actually be able to coat the lashes easier in a way you know what i mean because the better than sex one is nice but it's also like a bigger fluffier brush which i'm always down for but i'm thinking this might be better because it just seems like the bristles also seems a little bit more like stubby but in a very 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 good way so we'll see how that one performs i'm always down to try a new mascara and i love the packaging of that the next item I picked up was another perfume, actually, in addition to the Billie Eilish one, I picked this one up by Juicy Couture. So this is the Sparkling Rebel Perfume. They have, look how cute this is, how adorable. So this is like the boo-boo packaged one. They have, I want to say, a green one, a pink one, and then a yellow one as well. So I purchased the pink one actually a little bit ago. I never shared it with you guys just because it was a one thing that I purchased from Old Doll a little bit ago and I just put it in my purse and it's one that I've been using consistently. Like that's my perfume. That's my purse perfume, basically. And so I love that one a ton. And when I went to Ulta, I just actually really loved all of these little ones. So I wanted to pick this up. It is the 0.5 fluid ounce size, so really, really tiny. I think they might offer this in the full size, but I'm not even 100% sure. I just thought that, first of all, I'm loving that Juicy Couture is kind of making a comeback. And then growing up, I really didn't own much from Juicy Couture. So it kind of like hits home in a way, you know what I mean? So... I would eventually pick up the yellow one and green one just to kind of have the collection and maybe mix and match with them. But so far, the pink one is awesome. And then this blue one, oh my gosh, it probably smells like oceany. 
Yum, and the packaging is so cute. <sighs> wow. All right, this I'm gonna tell you, it's a wow moment for sure. If you're gonna choose one, the Billie Eilish one or this, 100% told this. It smells so good. I feel like it's a very universal scent that I really can't see anyone hating. I'll be honest with you, it smells so good. Oh my goodness. So it says here it's actually a great layering perfume. And some of the notes are pure violet leaves, water lily, sandalwood, praline, and a little bit of musk. Okay, the next thing I picked up was a gloss. This right here is from Milani. This is the Keep It Full Max XXX Gloss. And it's in the shade Little Secret. So... This is supposed to be like a plumping lip gloss. It also has a nice amount of pigmentation to it and the applicator is pretty hujungo. So like you really could get a good uh, coat with this. It also smells amazing and you guys can see here, it's just such a gorgeous color. I mean, it goes really well with the lipstick I was wearing before, which is like a secretive color because it's my color and it's coming out soon and I cannot, cannot wait, let me tell ya. Oh my gosh, I have. But this paired with that, it's like times 10. You know what I'm saying? So this right here is supposed to, like I said, give you a plumping effect. And it does, but it's not one of those plumping lip products that's like, ugh, get off my lips now. It gives you a little bit of something extra when it comes to plumping, color, and comfortability. I would say 10 out of 10. They also had a clear one, I want to say, but I think it was sold out in my Ulta, but I saw it said clear. I'm like, oh shoot, I would love to get that. So one that's on my radar, but this color right here is just a gorgeous nude, slightly mauve tone, but perfect shade, a little secret. It's gonna be my favorite moving forward. The next thing I picked up was from NYX Cosmetics. This is one of their brow products. It's the Thicket Stick It Thickening Brow Mascara. So I love their clear brow mascara. I actually have it in my brows today, amazing formula. They really do well with brow products in general. So I wanted to test this out because it's the tinted one. And I typically use tinted brow gels, I wanna say anytime I'm doing my brows, which is almost pretty much on a day-to-day -day basis. I'll use a clear one too, if I feel like I went heavy-handed with a brow pencil to kind of diffuse the color out a bit. But a tinted one is one I'll use on a natural day if I'm going for a full glam and I didn't go too happy with the pencil, I'll set it in with a tinted brow gel. I hope all of that made sense. Basically, a tinted brow gel is somewhat a bestie to me. So I love the Benefit one. The Elf one is amazing. The Brow Wow, I think, by, by Elf is really good. I know that Flower Beauty makes one too, which is nice, but I figured I would give this one a go, and I got in the shade, shade Espresso because I think I used their brow pen in Espresso, so I figured this would be perfect. I think it's a little bit more on the cooler tone side, which works out well with my brows as well. <laughs> and I love the packaging. It's so cute. Brown and pink. Who would have thought those colors would look good together? But they totally do. So the wand on this is kind of... I'm going to go like this because my hand looks cool. So the wand on this kind of looks pretty, pretty big. And it seems like there are little baby fibers on it as well, which I like because I feel like it kind of creates a thickness and a fullness to the brow. Um, and therefore, making your brows look, I would say, better. So I know that a lot of brands do that, like they put fibers in there. And it's not always that visible, but with this one, you can totally like see it with like the naked eye, which I think is pretty awesome and cool. So we are thrilled about this one. Okay, the next thing I picked up was from Benefit. They recently released these Boing under eye concealers. They have, I want to say about 12 shades to choose from, but I picked mine up in the shade Nectarine. I think it was the third to the lightest and it wasn't like way too pink or way too yellow. I feel like the other ones were like way too pink or way too yellow. This was more on the neutral side. I love the packaging, okay? I constantly say this, school supplies and makeup to me is purified heaven. Like I wanna open up a store with like both combined together. I think it's the cutest thing. So this looks like a pencil that you would kinda use in school and you would use the eraser. Kinda makes me miss school a bit. But I haven't purchased a concealer from Benefit in a very long time. I wanted to give this one a go. The applicator looks pretty nice, very regular, decent. It is gonna look very light for me now just because I am self-tanned, but I think like when I'm not self-tanned, that should be a good shade for me. It's pretty thin, so you don't get way too much product in here. I kinda wanna see. 0.17 fluid ounces, which I wanna say is much less than average, but I don't know, we'll see. Seems like it dries down pretty quick and I think it's supposed to help mainly with brightening. Hopefully it'll give at least medium coverage though. Let me just see here one second. It says, yeah, it, eliminate, it illuminates, eliminates. Yeah, it helps with dark circles it says here. It says it's supposed to hydrate too and 
visibly brighten. Then I wanted to pick up a new primer. Now, I actually don't use primers all that often. I mentioned this to you guys quite a few times. I really just go in with moisturizers these days. Like, my primer almost seems like an extra step for me. However, I wanted to pick up the Plump Right Back Plumping Serum Primer from NYX. Firstly, packaging neon yellow is one of my favorite colors ever when it comes to neon in general. Neon yellow is life to me. I remember when I used to paint my nails in neon yellow like all the time. So there's that. And then also, everyone has been raving about this. I love their marshmallow primer. It's one of my favorites when it comes to primers in general, especially from the drugstore. So I wanted to see what's up. Let's put it on this hand. I want to see what's up with this one. I think they actually had a smaller... Look how cool this looks. Like It looks like a hot piece. I know that they had this in a smaller size if you didn't want to purchase like the full primer. Because that's what I did with the marshmallow primer. I just purchased a small one and I still have it and... I, like it comes with a lot still like regardless this feels so good this feels so nice what is going on what is up doesn't really have any scent to him but it seems pretty hydrating it seems like it's sinking in pretty quickly but also more watery in a way very very unique texture i will tell you guys from all the primers that i own this right here definitely seems like it has a pretty unique formula so yay Yay! Here it says, skin instantly feels and looks plump. You could use it alone or with foundation. The next thing that I picked up was also from NYX. And this is an item that I showed in my walkthrough Ulta video last time. Not this, uh, not the most recent one. So this is one of their This Is Juice glosses in Coconut Chill. The clear one, obviously. They had this shade and a whole bunch of different other colors as well. But I wanted to see what this one was about. I know I said a gazillion, gazillion times that... Ooh, this smells so good and it feels so comfortable. Like it feels so airy and jelly and creamy and hydrating. You want this on your lips. It feels very high end, like high quality goodness. I typically wipe off the applicator if I had like a lip product on before just so it doesn't change the color of the gloss since the nature of the gloss is to be clear. Putting in you know, the applicator with some color on it will completely change the gloss color, but I'm very impressed. I know that the other ones they have um, are a bit more sheer. It's supposed to add like a nice tint of color. Not too much, very, very little. But this almost is like a hybrid between like a gloss and like a lip oil. It's also a very, very unique formula. I'm freaking obsessed. The next item I picked up was also from NYX Cosmetics. I feel like they've been really kicking butt. This is the Ultimate Queen Eyeshadow Palette. So they had this one for $18. I was like, whoa. They had a smaller palette for $7 and then the bigger, bigger size palette for $35. So prices are definitely going up. It was a bit much for me to even handle. I was like, what? Like when, like when was this and when is this a thing? So... This right here just spoke to me. I really just wanted to test this out. I know I had palettes like palettes like this in the past from them. And so I wanted to see what this one had to offer. I love the color story. You get a selection of metallics here. Really pretty like bronzy tones. Great for like a day-to-day -day basis. You can kind of create just gorgeous, easy, everyday looks. So you have metallics and then the mattes also just very, just it feels nice and very, very soft. No kick up really and seems very creamy for a matte. I just think the color story would bring out really any eye color, but I want to say especially brown since that's what I have. And I know that these tones just look good. You know, like easy go-to, fast, simple, everyday friendly. Love all of the options that are included in here. I cannot wait to use it, even though it's a neutral palette. It's like, okay, girl, it's a neutral palette. Come on. Don't tell me this is not heaven. Don't tell me it's not. Yum. Okay, so we're almost done here. The next item I picked up was from Milani. Whoa. This is one of their glow hydrating skin tints in the shade fair to light So with this one, they didn't have a ton of shades to choose from but I felt like this would be my good like regular shade that I could use Of course now it'd be too dark since I am self-tanned But it really intrigued me because of the word glow very very into glowy products I feel like it might remind me of the Charlotte Tilbury wonder skin. I think it's what it's called foundation I'm almost finished with that one. So I figured maybe this could be Either like a close dupe. Yeah, this looks very light, but yeah, it's gonna be my shade when I'm not self tanned. So what I want to say. So yeah, either it's gonna be like a close dupe to that Charlotte Tilbury one. It feels really nice. Doesn't feel the same. I am gonna say that. Um, and doesn't seem like it has the same coverage as that either. Like it's blending out. 
but oh yeah it says it has straight to light coverage so i don't know why i thought this might have more but it does seem like it's giving me a very blurred out effect for sure so i feel like it might help with blurring out my pores with the charlotte tilbury wonder skin foundation type of product i want to say it kind of gives you too light to medium medium coverage almost for sure and it kind of could almost be built up to full i want to say so but not heavy full you know like a good kind of full so i thought this might be similar but it's not maybe i'll wear this on those days where i want something light and easy as like a skin tint yeah it's a skin tint what was i thinking i don't know i didn't see that word i just saw glow i'm like yay great so we'll see maybe it would be a good product to also mix in with other goods i haven't tried much from milani when it comes to their complexion products so i really want to see what that like pretty much has to offer then i picked up a bronzer from milani as well this is in the shade sunkissed i think that they had three different shades in the line this is in sunkissed 02 so i thought this was nice because it looks a little bit more cooler in tone and i actually don't own a lot of like i guess maybe sculpting here's right swatch right over here sculpting not bronzers but contouring products so i will probably use this on its own see what like what it looks like on the face or if i'm not really feeling it i can always mix it in with an actual bronzer because i feel like since this is pretty cool toned it's probably more of a contouring product and i'm also really curious to see if this specific color is going to look like ashy and dirty on the skin almost i guess my way of describing ashy is like dirty looking like it looks muddy and like unblended so we'll see if this shade doesn't work out for me i might choose out something else that they have in the line i just don't remember if the other ones were war more warmer or what but i like that this says sun kissed so even though this doesn't look sun kissed really sometimes like when bronzers are swatched it's kind of like kind of like okay yeah please but then <laughs> when it's applied on the face it's like whoa I am sorry, but please come again. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, you really could blow your socks off your feet. And I had that with a bunch of bronzers. One that comes to mind is Laguna. Like in the beginning, I'm like, okay, you know, this was when I first started it and then went, started using it. And then when I applied it, I'm like, I'm sorry, but what? This looks so stunning on the skin. Laguna bronzer from NARS is amazing. But I feel like looking at it in the pan, well, this was years ago. Maybe they changed the look of it or I'm not really sure, but it just didn't look like anything that would blow my socks off my feet so but it did and it still continues to do so so i'm kind of hoping this might do the same then the final item that i picked out was from fenty beauty fenty beauty is now sold at ulta um, online and in store so in my walkthrough video i shared with you guys the full display all of that i picked up one of the kilowatt highlighters in lightning dust and fire crystal i own a different duo from fenty beauty that i love but when I saw this in store, and that's like the perk of actually going in store because I would probably not know this information if I would not see this in store. Like online, I'd be like, okay, great, this looks nice. But in store, I was like, whoa, so pretty, pretty. This is the most beautiful highlighter I've ever seen in my life. So again, lightning, dust, and fire crystal. One side of the highlighter is a bit more subtle. It's if you want to go for a highlighted effect, but very, very like a minimal type of look, that's great. But if you want to kind of amp things up, then you could use the other one. Or you could use them both with each other, this lighter one first, and then this one to kind of bring it more to life. Here are what the shades look like. I love these colors. So I'll tell you, it looks kind of stark white here, maybe-ish, and here mainly. But it actually has a little bit of a, I don't know. A little bit of something extra in there maybe like a champagne -ness to it like a peachiness to it it's so beautiful and it's so shiny and reflective and stunning and i just really adore the formula of their fenty kilowatt highlighters i think they're amazing i know we're finding some of these at tj but the more brighter shades i'm definitely sure that this shade is just never going to be there because i think it's one of their best selling colors but really really pretty it also kind of reminds me of like let's say the offer highlighter in glazed donut one of my favorites for sure maybe like benefit cosmetics cookie highlighter like same family i'm so down for that kind of color you know what i'm saying so very thrilled about this one probably more excited than i need to be but wow i want to say that's pretty much it really happy with all the items that i picked up i'm always happy with the stuff i picked up pick up from ulta in general but i think that this whole really just kind of like I had everything in here. You know what I'm saying? Let me know your thoughts and comments down below, and I will see you guys in my next video.